What's up, my name is TechNobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this video, I'll show you how to change the starting time of sequences in Premiere Pro. Why exactly would you want to do this? Well, of course, you may have a requirement from a film company if you're developing something. They may require silence at the beginning and then the video to start at, say, 30 seconds. Anything along those lines, you may need to change the timestamp. Otherwise, if you're creating a subsequence, you could come across issues. If we go ahead and split up some video, then make a subsequence. Opening up said subsequence, you can see the starting point, which would usually be zero seconds if you outputted the video, is now 12 minutes, three seconds and 34 frames, which is very odd. And of course, it's not too easy to tell exactly how long this clip is. You have to do some maths. If you'd like to change the starting time of a sequence, click the three lines or the burger button next to the sequence's title in the timeline. Upon doing so, you'll see all of the options here. What we're looking for is start time. Upon clicking this, you'll get to input a time format over here. So I'll say 0000, 00, 00 as such. And if you'd like, you can set as the default for future sequences. But for now, I'll hit OK. Upon doing so, you can now see this video is roughly 2 minutes and 30 seconds long. Whereas before, you had to do some maths from 14 minutes minus 12 XYZ. It's really simple. Now that we've done this, it won't affect the actual project that it's included in or anything like that. I do think that if you have it inside of a sequence as a nested sequence, things may change, but they may not as well. I'm not too sure. You may need to go ahead and check things something like this to see if something weird has happened, though more than likely nothing weird has happened at all. Long story short, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.